All right, what's up, guys? It's AK Stinger here. Show you a nice little build, just small house. Um, ideal for just getting started. Doesn't require a whole lot of uh, materials there, and it just kind of looks nice. So to get started, um, I have a few materials that you're gonna need at the bottom. Uh, you want to basically you want to put the uh, the foundation in cobblestone, and we're gonna make it. Uh, we're gonna do eight. by 10. All right, once you've got that, I want to get some, I prefer dark oak just because I prefer the dark color, but you can use whichever one you'd like. In the corners, you're going to go up three uh, logs, whichever wood you choose. I, like I said, prefer the dark oak. I think it looks nicer. We'll just do three for now. Then you're gonna start building your walls. Now, when you're looking at it, I'm I like being I like having two doors and I like it to be symmetrical. So uh, for the two doors, um, the longer side, the one that's ten blocks long, that's where we're gonna put our entrance at uh, the two blocks right in the middle. So I'm going to skip over those, but I'm going to lay stone brick down on all sides. Now as you go to the next level, um, this right here, this is going to be our floor level on the inside, which I'm going to just put dark oak planks. So now that we've got that, uh, we want to make sure we have windows. So I usually just leave one open slot between the doors. And then on the sides, you don't have a door. So I just leave all but the first block on the end open. On this one, um, you can put a back door if you'd like, if you want to have a backyard. It's totally up to you. I usually don't, so I just put blocks here covering it. So it's just a, a two by one window. And then over here, I do two. Which, this is going to go higher, which is why I put two. Uh, but basically, once you've got that going on there. Your sides, we're going to kind of, um, I guess you could say we're going to taper it up. Um, once you've got all of your walls done, we're going to add one more block of uh, oak wood to each corner. And then we're just going to step them up and fill stone brick in between them. So it should look like that. Now we're going to do the same on the other side. There we go. So now that we've got our structure of that, the walls going up for the ceiling, we're going to put, once again, dark oak. We're just going to start on the wall. Drag it right across. And then we're going to do the other side, same way. And then I like to take a stone slab and just put it on top of each wood block just because I think it makes it look nicer. Alright, so now you've got your basic structure of the house. Now we're going to go ahead and put some small detail inside. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so this is going to be like a kind of a kitchen area. Now for this, since it's going to be inside, I want it to be different than the floor. Um, so for this, I'll just use either regular oak planks, sometimes birch. Um, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and go with just oak. And then I like to put a stone slab up here over the furnace, kind of like it's a, like a stove top. Got the like protector up there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some bookshelves if I can find them. Seriously, if I can find them. Ah, there they are. And then a wooden trap door. So what this looks like, once you put the trap door on, kind of looks like uh, like shelves, like you've got stuff in there, not books. So just something I like to do, extra touch here. And you can't have a kitchen without a refrigerator, so something I really like to do. Let me grab a dispenser. Once again, if I can find it. I'm not used to using creative, so... I'm tripping right now. Alright, so a dispenser. I've already got uh, my iron door. I need an iron block. Or, actually, with this particular texture pack, the uh, the block doesn't look solid white, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna uh, grab a block of quartz. So we put our dispenser down. Then we're going to put our white block there, and our iron door. So now what happens if we grab a button and uh, slap that right here on the wood plank when we open it, the door opens and the dispenser is fired off. So what I do, uh, once I get all kinds of food, I'll just grab a little bit of whatever for right now. Chicken. All right, so I'll go ahead and fire it off and access the dispenser, and then I'll just pile stuff in. So now when you press the button, it shoots food out at you. So if you're just like running in real quick, you can just hit it a couple times, get a couple things thrown at you, and run out if you just need food. Uh, also, just a nice little finishing touch there. Put a cake on the counter. You don't you just bake the cake. You gotta have some decoration there. All right, it is getting hella dark, so hang tight. Oh my gosh, it's not gonna let me sleep. I don't believe it gave myself host options. Nope, can't change the time of day. Deaf totes should have done that. I guess for now, I'll just put some torches in here. All right, so now we gotta find some stairs here. I'm gonna do just cobblestone. And we'll do a grass block. So we're going to put a grass block in the corner right here. I need to get those wooden doors. Or the, uh... There we go. Wooden trap door again. Make it look a little bit nicer. Let's see. We're going to... We're going to do... I'm going to do the, the poppy. There we go. A little bit of decoration there. Could put it in a pot, but I'm not going to do all that. And then, I like to use either glowstone, glowstone or magma block just because you can kind of take out the torch a little bit. Um, if you use glowstone, at least. Magma block just kind of looks cool. So I'll put the magma block down, and then I'll put down two stairs on either side. And then we'll get slab. I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do a stone slab. Pop 
pop that in there. And then get a sign. So we're gonna put a sign on either side here. If you want, you I don't know. I'm not gonna do it. You can do designs on there if you want. Uh, so now, now you've got a uh, couch sitting area, coffee table, decorations, got your kitchen. And now from here, might want to put some glass in. I'm just gonna use regular glass panes, not stained. I'm just gonna pop those in there. Does get kind of covered up here with your uh, your kitchen there, but it's whatever you like. So now we're going to have a walkway, and let me grab, let me grab oak. And if you want, you can do, where are they? You can do something here if you'd like. This is uh, optional. We have like a kind of a roof right there. Just pop this up. Whatever you like best. So now you got your cozy cottage here. If you want, it's totally optional. You can delete this block, dig down a bit, clear this area out, turn it into kind of a downstairs area if you're wanting something bigger um, but from the outside you have just a tiny little area and if you want you can you get some some trees growing in your front yard there you go some bone meal down, just get like some weeds, some flowers. There we go. Some of these tall ones fucked up. There you go.